Introducing three simple steps to order direct mail. First, before we begin, gather what you're going to need. This includes your final artwork file, your mailing list, and your check for paying for postage. So let's break it down. Preparing your artwork. We recommend using our certified templates to ensure the speedy production of your job. You can download these templates here. Navigate to mailing, then click on the templates tab. Choose the correct template and click to download. Here's a sample of the template. Notice the areas that are reserved for inkjetting. One very important note. When you're ordering your print, make sure to choose no UV for the back. Preparing your mailing list. Your spreadsheet should look something like this. Organized with the full name and address information. We accept the following formats, XLS, CSV, and TXT files. Your list must be a minimum of 200 addresses. There is a one-time direct mail fee per list. Keep in mind, each additional list requires an additional fee. Okay, here we go. Step one, placing your order. Place your order in the regular way, but for your direct mail campaign, there will be several selections that you must make. For demonstration, we'll place a sample order. Choose a product category. In the product builder, remember to choose a product with no UV coating on the back. Choose run size. The minimum is 200 for direct mail, so select the quantity in this range. Choose color and turnaround time. Choose no bundling. Choose mailing services, yes, direct mail from, and then we'll give you a selection of five different locations to choose from throughout the United States. The selection may vary based on the product. Go through the rest of the ordering process as usual. Add to cart and pay as normal. Once you have placed the order, copy your order number. Don't forget the suffix, you will need this for the next step. Step two, placing your direct mail order. Navigate to mailing, then click on the mailing form tab. Enter your order number and correct suffix you just copied. For example, the job number dash 001 or 002. Enter your postage class. This is very important and you have three choices, standard, first class, and nonprofit. You can learn about these choices in the mailing FAQ section. Select shipping method for the remainders. Enter where you will receive the approval email. Upload the mailing list you prepared earlier. Here's an area to write any comments that might be important to the mailing list. Once the mailing department processes your list, you'll receive an email for the postage that we already talked about. Step three. You'll be notified by email when the mailing department has processed your list and the postage is due. The fastest method is to send in your check for postage by email or fax. All the information you need is provided in the email. This is time sensitive, so the sooner you send in your check, the sooner your direct mail order will be processed. Remember, it will take one to three days delivery starting from the time your check payment is posted. And that's the scoop for starting your awesome direct mail campaign. Direct mail is still one of the most inexpensive and effective ways to advertise. Still have questions? Remember that you can find most common questions here. If you still need help, click on this link and an experienced direct mail customer care provider will help you out.